What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel as always hope you guys are all good and well as you can see by the title this is me reacting to my original League 2 predictions which I did just before the season started if you're going to enjoy please do hit the like button the like target is 100 likes today do subscribe if you're new only 37 away from 5k which is mad so do subscribe if you want to see more content and if there's any other content you want to see then do leave your thoughts in the comments and of course don't forget to let me know your predictions were you right or were you wrong the ones you did at the start of the season i'm gonna be starting from top of the league from where they finished and working my way down to the bottom and just giving my thoughts on each one uh explaining to you how awful they were and how far far out they were so yeah starting off with forest green they won the league two title on the final day and i predicted them to finish seventh i don't even know why i just thought they didn't really make any amazing additions i know they kept most of the squad of course they had a new manager and rob edwards as well but yeah, I got it pretty wrong, you know, had a really good season, scored a lot of goals, great football, very attacking style and, you know, they were pretty much top the whole way through as well. Going with the next one, which of course Exeter finished second as well and I predicted them to finish one place outside the playoffs, I predicted them to finish eighth. I didn't think their signings were that good at the time, uh, De Yang, Giovanni Brown, you know, Sweeney come back. They lost Bowman, who had a really good season for them. But they've, they've all worked out. All their signings have pretty much all worked out. And, yeah, fair play, you know, for them to finish second as well. Third, of course, Rovers finished third on the final day, getting that mad 7-0 win. Uh, of course, my team. And I, I actually predicted us to win the league. So I wasn't far off, you know, looking through, you know, up to December, January time, I looked stupid because we were of course doing really bad at the time a lot of new players come in but in the end if we would have had our run a, a few weeks before I think we would have actually won the league but not too bad but yeah we didn't win the league title of course fourth Northampton of course finished fourth I actually predicted them to finish 13th again I just you know they had Ryan Watson last season they had a lot of good players uh last season that left and you know I didn't think their players were that good, you know, coming in, you know. But again, they've all worked out. You had Guffrey, you had a Tete on loan for the first part of the season. You know, you had Mitch Pinnock, who they got in the summer on a free. I didn't think he was that good of a signing. But yeah, you know, they've gone on to prove me wrong and, you know, finished in the playoffs. So pretty far out. Again, fifth of, uh, of course, Port Vale. My predictions were 12th. Again, I just didn't think they're... Signings were that good, lost a, a few players in the summer, but yeah, they've gone on to have a, a really good season uh, to finish fifth. Sixth, of course, Swindon. Now, this one's terrible. I think a lot of people, inc including myself, didn't think they were going to do that well because at the time, about a week or two before the season, they only had had about four or five players, but the players they brought in have all been classed, to be honest. You know, you look at Reed. Johnny Williams, McCurdy, all the lone players, they've all paid off and all done really well in the Ben Garner. And I predict to, to finish bottom of the league. So, yeah, that one, miles off. This one I got pretty good. The next one, Mansfield, finished seventh. I predicted them to finish sixth. So, not too bad. Really good season for them. Uh, you know, of course, they were in the automatics at one stage. But they were a bottom with us. Uh, at the start of the season but again gone on to have a really good season and finishing that last spot in the playoffs next up of course Sutton they finished eighth and again I've got this terribly terribly wrong they I predict them to finish 23rd in the league so to go down with Swindon which is just laughable now uh, but fair play they've had an absolutely amazing season they adjusted to the league really well made some good signings Got to, uh, you know, an EFL Trophy final. Uh, you know, they've and they've just missed out as well. Just missed out. So what a season for them. But, yeah, how stupid do I look? Next up is Tranmere. They finished ninth. I predict them to finish fourth. Uh, it was looking good at one stage, but second half of the season, they've just um, sl slipped away, really. Um, didn't really have... Enough goal scorers in their team. Their defence was good, but they just didn't score enough goals in the end. And Yeah, but yeah, pretty good overall. Next one is Salford. They finished 10th. And again, I predict them to finish in the last automatic spot. I thought their signings were really good. Uh, the signings in January were good as well. But again, 
they they relied too much on Asante, I think. Of course, they, if, maybe if they had had Smith the whole season, they would have got in there, but they only got him in January. Uh, 11th, Newport. I actually got this spot on. I also predicted Newport to finish 11th place. And, yeah, again, it was looking sort of January, February time. That was looking a bad prediction because they were in the playoffs. They were third, fourth. But, again, they just slipped away. Didn't have enough goal scorers. Telford, who, of course, had a, an amazing season, just slipped away a bit the last sort of half of the season. But... Yeah, I've one I've got spot on. Next up is Crawley. Finished 12th, but I predict him to finish 19th and fair play. John Yem's done a really, really good job there. Uh, pretty solid. They're a decent team. If they had a few more players, they could 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 do a little bit better. But yeah, I predict him to finish 19th. So yeah. Next up is Orient. They finished 13th. I predict him to finish 10th. Again, before Christmas, that was looking bad because they were in the top three. And then COVID hit them. And yeah, they started to do really bad. Of course, Kenny Jacket sacked and ended the season well, but they'd be disappointed from where they were at the start of the season. 14th, I've gone, uh, of course, I predicted Bradford to finish second. I think a lot of people did. They were up there with the favourites to go up automatically, but to finish 14th, they'd be very, very disappointed. Of course, Derek Adams was there. The signings were good in the summer, but. Yeah, very, very wrong in the end. And they want to go better next season with Mark Hughes with a full pre-season and a full summer. 15th, Colchester finished in 15th. A very good season for them overall. But I predict them to finish 9th. They ended last season really well. I thought their signings were good in the summer. Of course, at one stage, it, they looked like they could have been going down. But they managed to uh, end on a, on a high uh, second half of the season, they were a lot, lot better. 17th, now this is a bad one. Warsaw finished 16th. I predict them to finish 5th. I thought their signings were really good. The likes of Wilkinson, Montfe. I thought this was their season that they were going to at least finish in the playoffs. But again, a very, very disappointing season, season for Warsaw. Um, next up, 17th, Hartlepool, they finished. I predict them to finish one place outside the relegation zone so and again they were had a really good start of course Chaloner was there then he left to go to Stockport and then of course the other manager come in but again I think they'd be fairly happy with their first season back but yeah 18th Rochdale only the second one I've got spot on I predicted also Rochdale to finish 18th I thought again they lost a lot of players in the summer uh, the likes of Humphreys, they lost Morley in January, they lost Rathbone, they lost Beasley in January as well. And yeah, again, they'd be disappointed, but you can see why, because a lot of their good players left and they 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 find it hard to replace them. 19th, Harrogate finished 19th. I predicted them to finish 17th, so not too bad at all. Again, earlier on in the season, they were doing very well in the top five and they just slipped away, but... Yeah, not too bad in the end. Carlisle finished 20th. I predict him to finish 15th. Not too bad. Of course, a few months back before they brought in Simpson, they were probably going to get relegated. But him, he's had a really good impact since he's gone there. And of course, since then, he has signed a three-year contract, I believe. So they'll be looking to do a lot of better next season under Paul Simpson. 21st, I've gone with Stevenage. I actually predict him to finish 14th. I thought they ended last season really well. And I thought they were... Going to kick on, but I should have knew by the signs at the start when they signed, you know, Upson and Daly, they were not going to have a good season. But yeah, uh, 22nd Barrow, and I predict him to finish 16th. Uh, not too bad, but I just thought with their signing Zanzala, Josh Gordon, I thought they were going to do well. Good manager, they done okay last year. I thought they were going to kick on a little bit, but yeah. Um, you know, 16th's fairly good after I predicted to finish 22nd. And the last two teams, of course, that got relegated this season, Oldham in 23rd and Scunthorpe in 13th. I actually had them staying up. I had Scunthorpe finishing 21st and I had Oldham finishing 20th. So, again, f very wrong. Uh, but I thought they were just going to do a little bit better. But, of course, really bad seasons for them. Off the pitch matters. A lot of, you know going on the pitch, signings, etc. But there you have it. That is my 
video of reacting to my predictions. Of course, like I said, I got a lot of them terribly wrong. But let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.